What's up travelers? It's Liz from Means to Travel and I'm here today with my friend Eric from Travel Adventures with Eric B on YouTube and we are sitting in Jackson Square in New Orleans, Louisiana. He's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, came down here today to visit with us and we are going to be telling you about five things to know before your trip to Louisiana. All right, and it's not really going to be just me today talking about these things. We're gonna have the native Louisianian tell us. And is, first of all, is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> what is a native to Louisiana called? A native Louisianian. <laughs> I don't think that's that. I don't think that's an actual word, but it sounds good. We'll just go with that. We're gonna roll. We're gonna right. go with that. That that was a bonus. All right. Nerd time. Google Google says Louisianians. Right. So, Eric, what is the first one? Well, the first thing I would tell anyone that's coming to Louisiana, if you're not familiar with Louisiana, you should do your research on what the weather is when you come to Louisiana. First of all, if you come anytime during May and September, it's going to be very hot and very humid. And that's May to September, like all of the months in between as well. <laughs> very hot. Also hurricane season. You should know hurricane season. A lot of hurricanes hit between June and September. So be aware of hurricane season. A lot of them hit around September. So make sure there's no hurricane out there in the Gulf before your trip to Louisiana. And also if you come around December or January, Make sure you do a little research on that because it may be nice and cold or it may be like the day where me and Liz is sitting here and she's got on short sleeves because it's like 75 Tank top. degrees. December. Tank top. <laughs> but it was, we were talking about it was like in the 50s last week. So. Right, yeah. It, the weather changes at the drop of a hat during the winter, but it stays the same on those other months. It gets hot and it rains a lot. So remember that if you come in on those months, be prepared. Your sweat will sweat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But you'll notice the humidity as soon as you walk out of the airport. When it's hot, it's hot. But it does when it gets cold, though, it clings to you as well. But the heat especially, though, when it gets wet, it gets nasty here. And a lot of it's because of the swamps and, and the climate in general. Our next point that we're going to be making is all about the swamps. Definitely expect to be in a swampy climate when you come here. What does that mean? Well, it's going to be hot and nasty, like we said, but the thing about the swamp is, the thing about the swamp, though, alligators, bugs, the bugs are terrible here, the mosquitoes. I mean, you got bugs here that are the size of bats. <laughs> that might be an exaggeration, but, you know, it, it feels like they're the size of bats. They're huge bugs here. And I, and I know some people say they never heard of love bugs, these little things in the south, these two bugs that attach to each other, and they just fly around and splat into your windshield when you're driving. And if you're going through Louisiana or, or even Mississippi on a road trip, you'll have so many of them on your windshield, it's disgusting. But speaking back to the swamps, though, I recommend you go do some swamp tours in Louisiana. Really good thing to do, to go out into the swamps and, and see how the Acadians and see how everybody, the Cajun culture is. The alligators are fun. I really hope that I get to do that someday, even if not on this trip, because I think that would be so cool to see an alligator. I don't know how close I want to get, but... <laughs> You don't want to so get I mean, too close. Yeah, I have heard too that there's more alligators in Louisiana than in Florida. So be be on your lookout. I can believe that. There's <laughs> a lot in both though. That's the cuisine in Louisiana. Yeah. A lot of people eat alligator. A lot of people do. I've had the alligator uh, balls before. They call them the little, the little sausage balls. I guess you would call it uh -huh. alligator. They, those are pretty good. We had last night an alligator taco. So bits of alligator inside of a tortilla. Really? Yeah. That yeah, sounds like well. something I should try. <laughs> it was actually delicious. It's wow. kind of like chicken. <laughs> but I don't want to see like a real alligator at that close, just on my plate. The next that we're going to talk about is that Louisiana is way more than just New Orleans. It's definitely more than just New Orleans. I mean, you come to Louisiana, New Orleans is obviously the place where the tourists are going to go. It's got the most history as far as everything. You want to come to New Orleans, but there's a lot more to see and do it than just New Orleans. We just talked about the swamps, getting out, doing a swamp tour, going to see some classical houses. You want to go see LSU, go to Baton Rouge. LSU's got a great campus. The downtown area of Baton Rouge is nice. You could go to Lafayette. There's a lot to do out that way. Or if you're in North Louisiana, Shreveport, yeah. there's a lot to do all the way, all across the state. So you get out and do more than just New Orleans. 
And Eric's got a great video on his channel, I'll link it below, of a tour of the LSU campus too. So um, if you're trying to check out more than just New Orleans, which you should if you have time when you're here, certainly make sure to figure out what those great spots are. And when you're touring around the rest of Louisiana too, you were just telling me a lot about the cultural differences off camera that I might experience. So why don't you kind of share that with everyone? Well, depending on what part of the state you're in, there's a lot of cultural differences between southern Louisiana and north Louisiana, such as north Louisiana and parts, or more like, more like Texas type culture, while Louisiana is more the Cajun culture. And you know, Mardi Gras and everything. You mean like New Orleans? New Orleans, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. And, and you would think of more like Mardi Gras and everything, because the southern part of the state, like New Orleans is not the only place where they do Mardi Gras. I mean, if you go to Baton Rouge, Lafayette, Lake Charles, all of the cities in the southern part of the state, they all do Mardi Gras, but in the northern part of the state, maybe a few cities here and there do Mardi Gras, but most of the northern part of the state doesn't do Mardi Gras, and it's a little bit different in general. Even the accents are different in the northern part of the state for the most part than the southern part. If you're in New Orleans, you might hear 10 different types of dialects and different accents. There are people in New Orleans that sound like they're from New York City, and there's so many different accents <laughs> and dialects. New but... York City. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you're in but if you're in the northern part of the state, people actually sound more southern than they do in the southern part of the state. They sound more Cajun. They sound more like Coach Ed Orgeron from LSU. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So it seems like there's those cultural differences and then it's also like the food might be a little bit different throughout the state too, right? The, the food's the food's different too, so that the good Cajun food, you can get it all over the state, but it's mainly a South Louisiana thing. If you go up to North Louisiana, it's not it's not nearly as prevalent there. You might find more Tex-Mex in, in parts of Northern Louisiana wow. than you'll find Cajun food, but Cajun food's everywhere in the Southern part of the state. Awesome. Are there any like Louisiana chains we should think about when visiting? Oh, there's, there's tons of uh, chains. Louisiana chain. I'm just gonna name a couple offhand because I think of because I'm from Baton Rouge, Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. There, I think they're in like half of the states now. Yeah, That's they're the they, they're chain. more than just Louisiana now. You can get those all over the U.S. and well, not all over, but I think they're in more than half of the states. But yeah. that was created right off of LSU's campus. That that place. So awesome. Yeah, I love also, that. Also Popeyes. Everyone knows about Popeyes, Louisiana Kitchen. That's from New Orleans. But yeah, there's a lot of chains and there's a lot of products too, like Zatarans. Mm -hmm. Then there's Louisiana, like Louisiana itself, the fish fry and the, the different seasoning and all. It's everywhere now. Like I was in Washington State and I noticed Zatarans in the grocery store. I'm like, wow, Washington State? Yeah, wow, that is. And you were telling me about a specific type of um, seasoning that you use on your shrimp. Um, Tony like Sachery. For Louisiana. <laughs> Tony Sachery, really good. And Tony Sachery is another one. It's in many states too, so leave a comment below if you're in another state somewhere and you've seen or used Tony Sachery. I know along the Gulf states, Florida and all those places, a lot of people use it, but I had never Louisiana. heard of it, but I'm from Chicago, so yeah, <laughs> that was fun to learn about. The next topic that we're going to share if you are visiting Louisiana is that you're not going to be in a county, you're going to be in a parish. What's I know, that? I know that's a little different because there's only two states that don't have counties. Alaska's the other one, they have boroughs, they have parishes in Louisiana, which is a little bit different. It comes from the French culture and um, it also it's a, uh, come from the Catholic Church as well, because there's a heavy Catholic uh, presence in the state of Louisiana. So there are parishes, there aren't counties in Louisiana. So if you come to Louisiana and you say, I'm in Orleans County or East Baton Rouge County, they're gonna look at you like, they're gonna be like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to make yourself sound like you know about Louisiana, make sure you know that there are parishes and not counties. Yeah, definitely make you seem a little bit more like a local, huh? Exactly. And speaking of sounding like a local, the last, the fifth thing that we're gonna to talk to you about is pronouncing words like a local. <laughs> we were talking about this too off camera a little bit. There's definitely a handful of words that he says differently being from Louisiana than maybe I say. <laughs> there are some words that are Louisiana words that people look at and they say, what the heck? So, so a few quick examples. A few quick examples. People who aren't from here will say Orle New Orleans. Even though it is Orleans Parish, it's New Orleans. 
New Orleans. And like not Lins. New Orleans. <laughs> and don't say, people. <laughs> don't say Nolens neither. Nolens is so outdated. Nolens is like to Atlanta when they say hot Atlanta. Like the locals, they don't like when you say Nolens. <laughs> it's two words. It's two different words. And also, you know, people say praline a lot. It's praline here. And I know in other parts, of, in certain places, they say they say praline. But in Louisiana, make sure you say pralines. I definitely say praline. So I'm going to be very guilty of this one. <laughs> <laughs> and they are very good. You should definitely try them. Yeah, you can see different prowling opportunities all around New Orleans, I've noticed. Yeah. We looked a couple of these up that are commonly mispronounced, and it's so funny as I go through them, Eric's like, yep, yep. <laughs> Do you want to say some of them? Natchitoches. Yeah, there's a school in northwestern Na this one, Louisiana. This is Natchitoches. 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 Nakedish. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put the spellings of these things on camera so you guys can follow along with me here. <laughs> this does not look like Nakedish. That one's Tangibahoa. Okay, Tangibahoa. Which is a parish and I went to college in. Gross Tate. Gross Tate. It looks like <laughs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> <laughs> that one's like that one's like 20 minutes away from uh, Baton Rouge. Been there. And this Pontchartrain. one's, a, yeah, Lake Pontchartrain is the big body of water right outside of New Orleans. And there's the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge, which is like a 30 mile bridge. It's one of the longest bridges in the U.S. This one, I would have pronounced it Wachita. And it is Wachita, which is in North, North Louisiana. We mentioned North Louisiana, so that one's in North Louisiana, Wachita. And then the last one here, this is a street name, I think, and it looks like Burgundy. Which but it's is a Burgundy. Burgundy. Bur Burgundy. <laughs> not Burgundy, not the color Burgundy. I'm on Burgundy? Burgundy. Yep, there you go. One of my good friends is from Sacramento and she came, she lives in Utah and she came down and she laughed so hard because she got in an Uber and the Uber driver said, said, hey, I'll give you uh, $20 if you can pronounce this street name right. And the street <laughs> is Chapatulas. And, and, she, and she said, toop, toop, shoo, shoo, something. <laughs> She screwed it up so bad, but Chapatulas, the Chapalaya Basin. I heard a, a mm -hmm. news lady, a weather lady, during hurricane season call it the Atchafalaya. It's the <laughs> Chapalaya Basin. But a lot of these words in Louisiana, though, and the thing is, like, a lot of people think in Louisiana, you know, I can use French and get by. Louisiana is Cajun French. It's not regular French. Mm -hmm. If you speak French, that is a totally different animal. Yeah, it's not like if you're visiting Quebec or something. Right. Yeah. Also, no, they say Le Bonton Roule. Let the good times roll. Ooh, Le Bonton Roule. All right. I just learned something new. Um, also, too, just to quickly explain the Achafalaya, this is a bonus one as well. Um, that is a different branch of the Mississippi River, right? And it, it runs through a portion of Louisiana um, and it's kind of a bigger part of the culture and like the geography around here, right? Yeah, it runs through Louisiana. I have a video on my channel. I did a uh, swamp tour going through the Atchafalaya Basin. A lot of alligators out there. Really cool tour. Yeah. Check that out. The Atchafalaya is actually the only distributary of the Mississippi River and it's really, really like a huge part of southern Louisiana. All right. Thank you so much, Eric, for joining hey, us I today. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you guys want to check out Eric's channel, he's got a ton of great travel content over there as well. Why don't you say how people can find you? You can find me on YouTube, Travel Adventures with Eric B. You can also follow me, please, on Instagram, which is also at Travel Adventures with Eric B. And on Facebook, Travel Adventures <laughs> with Eric B. That's me. I will put all the links down below. Definitely go check out his videos too. Thanks, Eric so much again and if you guys like this video please press the thumbs up button down below and also press that red subscribe button down below too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the travel videos travel vlogs travel tips on this channel to come thanks so much for watching cheers happy travels bye big yay not big big net <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard anyone say big net I don't know. <laughs> big net big net <laughs> big net <laughs> Big Nat. <laughs> Hell, it looks like it could be Big Nat. <laughs> yep. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.